Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we're going to be talking about the basics of limits. Let's talk about what a limit is. We see limits of a function in the form the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l. The limit is the behavior of the function near a particular point. That means that the limit is the y value being approached as x approaches a. We use limits to approximate functions. In order for the limit to exist, the right and left hand side of the function must approach the same limit at the specified point. Let's see what I mean. Our problem is the limit of x squared minus 2 as x approaches 2. So let's see a graph of the function. We'll use puppies to represent the x values. We want to see what y value is being approached as x approaches 2. We see that as the puppy on the left and the puppy on the right approach 2, they both approach 2 on the y-axis. Therefore, the limit is 2. The simplest way to find the limit of a function is substitution. Substitution is also called the plug and chug method. You plug in the value that x is approaching for x and the value of the function is the limit. When using the substitution method, the function value is the limit. It is important to note that the function value does not always equal the limit, so substitution in some cases may not be the best method. Let's see an example of what I'm talking about. You can see that there's a hole in the graph. Therefore, the actual function value is 4, not 2. But let's find the limit and see where the puppies go. You can see that the puppies still approach 2. That means the limit is still 2. The limit only cares about what is happening around the point in question. Let's see an example using substitution. Our problem is the limit of x squared plus x over 3x as x approaches negative 2. We'll plug in negative 2 for x and we'll get negative 2 squared plus negative 2 over 3 times negative 2. This equals negative 2 over 6, which simplifies to negative 1 third. Let's look at the graph to reconfirm our answer. You can see that the left and right side approach the same limit. Therefore, negative one-third is our limit. Let's see one more example. We have the limit of x plus 2 over x squared as x approaches 3. We plug in 3 for x and we get 3 plus 2 over 3 squared. This simplifies to 5 nines. Let's see a graph to reconfirm our answer. We can see that the left side of the limit and the right side of the limit approach 5 nines. Therefore, 5 nines is our answer. Substitution is one of the easier methods to find limits, but for more help, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.